How does the immune system work? The immune system is a complex network of cells, tissues, and organs that work together to defend the body against harmful pathogens, such as bacteria, viruses, parasites, and fungi. It is composed of two main branches, the innate immune system and the adaptive immune system. Let's delve into each of these systems and how they function. 1. Innate Immune System The innate immune system is the first line of defense against invading pathogens. It provides immediate, nonspecific protection and is always active, even before an infection occurs. Key components of the innate immune system include Physical barriers the skin and mucous membranes act as physical barriers to prevent pathogens from entering the body. They provide a physical barrier and produce antimicrobial substances that kill or inhibit the growth of pathogens. Phagocytic cells. Cells such as neutrophils, macrophages, and dendritic cells engulf and destroy pathogens through a process called phagocytosis. These cells recognize pathogens through pattern recognition receptors, PRRs, that detect specific molecular patterns found on the surface of pathogens. Natural killer. NK. Cells. NK cells are a type of lymphocyte that can directly kill infected cells or tumor cells. They play a crucial role in the early defense against viral infections and cancer. Inflammatory response. When tissue is damaged or infected, immune cells release chemical signals, such as cytokines and chemokines, which promote inflammation. This process helps recruit immune cells to the site of infection, enhances blood flow, and increases the permeability of blood vessels, allowing immune cells to enter the affected tissues. 2. Adaptive Immune System The adaptive immune system is a more specialized and targeted defense mechanism that develops after exposure to specific pathogens. It involves two key components, humoral immunity, mediated by antibodies, and cell-mediated immunity, mediated by T-cells. The adaptive immune response has the ability to recognize and remember specific pathogens, providing long-term protection. Here's how it works. Antigen recognition. Antigens are specific molecules found on the surface of pathogens. When immune cells encounter these antigens, they initiate an immune response. Antigen-presenting cells, APCs, mainly dendritic cells, capture pathogens, break them down, and present fragments of the antigens on their surface. B cell activation and antibody production. B cells are lymphocytes that produce antibodies, also known as immunoglobulins, Ig. When B cells recognize the presented antigens, they become activated and differentiate into plasma cells, which secrete large amounts of specific antibodies. These antibodies can neutralize pathogens. Mark them for destruction by other immune cells. Or activate the complement system. T-cell activation and cell-mediated immunity. T-cells are another type of lymphocyte that play a crucial role in cell-mediated immunity. They can directly kill infected cells or help regulate the immune response.
T cells recognize antigens presented by APCs through their T cell receptors. There are two main types of T cells helper T cells, CD4, and cytotoxic T cells, CD8. Helper T cells coordinate immune responses by releasing cytokines, while cytotoxic T cells directly kill infected cells. Memory cells. Following an immune response, some B and T cells differentiate into memory cells. These memory cells remember the specific antigen encountered, enabling a faster and more robust immune response upon re exposure to the same pathogen. Overall, the immune system is a remarkable defense mechanism that employs various cell types molecules, and processes to protect the body against a wide range of pathogens. Its ability to recognize, remember, and mount specific immune responses is crucial for maintaining health and fighting off infections. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button. Ring the notification bell. And let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.